In this video, we're going to take a look at linking our Aries gradebook with our Google Classrooms. This is a pretty easy process. All you want to do is log yourself into Aries to begin with, and then you're going to need to see the class summary pane, which you'll see is visible right over here. If you don't see that initially, you can add it just by going to these three little dot, dot, dot buttons. We call those the jelly beans. Click that and then go to customize home. What you'll want to make sure you toggle on is this class summary right over here. So if there's a check mark there, the class summary will display. Once it displays, what you can do is add a Google Classroom for each one of the classes that you teach. I have a secondary schedule here filled out by period. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a Google Classroom for period 6, English 7. To do so, I just navigate over to the Add Website button. Click that button, and you'll notice up here at the top you have two options for Google Classroom. You can either use this to create a brand new Google Classroom or to link to one that you've already built in the Google interface. If you select the Create button, what it will do is create a brand new Google Classroom for you, and it will automatically import all of your students in Aries and send them into that Google Classroom for you. From that point forward, it will keep your class up to date. So if students drop or are added into your class, they should also be added into your Google Classroom. If you've previously set up your Google Classrooms, no worries. Uh, if you have one already built and you click the link button, then what it'll ask you to do is, at, uh, is select which one of your Google Classrooms that you've set up would you like to link with that class period, and then it will also merge and link all of the students for those two. So I'm going to click this Create button. It does take a little while to render this because it's doing a database check of all of the different user accounts and usernames and trying to get those merged in. Uh, once it's done, you'll get a little message that the import and the creation was successful, and then you can visit your Google Classroom by going to classroom.google.com to make sure that the import was a success.